we want to solve the equation 2 minus 3y equals 4x for the variable y. So the first step is to isolate the y term on one side of the equation by adding or subtracting. We need to be careful because we have a minus 3y here. It might be tempting to try to add 3 to both sides of the equation to isolate the y, but this does not work because the 3 is attached to the y by multiplication. But we can undo the positive 2 by subtracting 2 on both sides of the equation. So the first step is to subtract 2 on both sides of the equation in order to isolate the y term. So simplifying, subtracting 2 undoes positive 2, or 2 minus 2 is 0. So we have negative 3y equals, on the right side, we have 4x minus 2. And on the left side, negative 3y means negative 3 times y. And therefore, to solve for y, we need to undo this multiplication by performing the opposite or inverse operation. And therefore, the next step is to divide both sides by negative 3 to undo multiplying by negative 3. So on the left side, again, dividing by negative 3 undoes multiplying by negative 3. So the left side simplifies to y. Or negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. 1 times y is y. So now we have the equation solved for y. y equals the quantity 4x minus 2 divided by negative 3. This would be correct to express y in this form, but we can also express y in a couple other different forms. It's not common to have a negative value in the denominator, so one thing we could do is multiply the numerator and denominator of the fraction by negative 1 to make the denominator positive. If we did that, we would have y equals negative 1 times the quantity 4x minus 2 divided by negative 1 times negative 3. If we did this, we would have y equals, in the numerator, we would have negative 4x plus 2. And the denominator would be negative 1 times negative 3, which is positive 3. So we can also express y in this form. Yet another option would be to divide each term in the numerator by 3. So if we have y equals the quantity negative 4x plus 2, divided by 3, we can write this as y equals negative 4x divided by 3 plus 2 divided by 3, or just y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 2 thirds. So there is more than one way to express y when solving the equation for y. Now if we were to take this form and divide each term in the numerator by negative 3, we would also get y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 2 thirds. You may want to take a moment and try that just to verify you would get the same results. I hope you found this helpful.